So now it's time to review another Kinect game, Dance Central. It's a rhythm game which falls down in the category of Dance Dance Revolution and Guitar Hero. So how well does this game appeal to that audience? Well, let's play this game and find out. So, well, I think that wrapped it up. So, let's play this game and find out. It starts with this very nicely hand-drawn cartoon intro, showing a guy advertising for DC. DC what? Comic books? Expensive clothes? Or maybe meeting with the president? There's a big list of songs to choose from. Some are very recognizable, but the song list is for the most part disappointing. The list starts with Lady Gaga and ends with Lady Gaga. Let's try crack that. The way Dance Central works is that your choreographer, who is located here, I have the arrow in case you don't see, is showing you how each dance move or choreography is done. This is of course in the break it down mode, where the choreographer, who is still located here, repeats the dance move over and over while you with rhythm try to follow the dance move. If you're struggling with a choreography or dance move, you can activate where it's easier to see what he is doing. After successfully pulling off a dance move or choreography, three times you advance to the next, and if you are familiar with a choreography or dance move and pull it off at first try, you get to instantly progress. Each dance move or choreography is part of a big song where you put all the choreographies or dance moves, man I hope you know what that means by now, into one single dance. What I love about this game is that it uses Kinect to see if you do the moves right, Body parts blinking red means you are not moving that part the way you should, and that makes it very easy to correct yourself. You really feel like having to move your whole body and not just put your feet on four buttons or wave a Wiimote around. Well, you really feel like having to... Well, I think that wrapped it up again. It's all done very well. You have a big, big visual choreographer, check. You have a Guitar Hero-ish bar showing what's to come, which is interesting because Dance Central is actually developed by Harmonix, the developers of Rock Band. They were also the creators of Guitar Hero before they sold the rights, but shh, no one's supposed to know that. But yeah, check. And a small indication that you're being tracked, check. Of course there are also other songs in Dance Central with different choreographers and different dance moves. Every song has unique dance moves, they haven't just chained pattern, and each move is for some reason very memorable and fun to perform. I think it's the dance moves that make each song more recognizable than the song itself. They rank every move you do after timing and precision, and of course you also get a total rank after the song is over. There are also free difficulties, so after mastering a song on easy, there are still higher difficulties you can try, where to a big surprise they teach you extra dance moves that you also have to memorize, so this makes the replay value very high. Dance Central is a lot like Guitar Hero, but you dance instead of hitting notes. A remarkable difference is that Dance Central teaches you the real deal of dancing, while Guitar Hero doesn't really teach you anything other than playing guitar. Hero. Dance Central also has a different learning curve. In Guitar Hero, you are a master at any song once you master one. But Dance Central feels like it has its own learning curve for each song. So mastering the whole game could take years. And that also makes replay value very high. So overall, if you like rhythm games like Guitar Hero and Rock Band, then I highly recommend this. But I have to warn you, this game is educational and you could risk getting too skilled at dancing by playing this.